Hey guys, Maka here, and welcome to my 100% full game walkthrough for Tacoma. In this video, I'll be taking you through the game from the very beginning, showing you how to get all 1,000 out of 1,000 in terms of gamer score on the Xbox One. Assuming that the PlayStation has the same trophies, it'll also work for that once it comes out on that system. Now you can tell by the length of the video how long it'll take us to complete the game. I would imagine that it's roughly going to be around 45 to 50 minutes, and uh, it's all going to be in one live take, so hopefully that makes sense. We'll be going from the very beginning to the very end of the game. Now obviously I'm going to be skipping a lot of things. I have all of the codes I need for all of the lockers already written down and stuff, and these are all small little puzzles you would need to kind of figure out as you're going through the game on your own. And uh, a normal playthrough would probably take around two to three hours, so you'll want to keep that in mind. Uh, I don't like this game maybe as much as I loved Gone Home, but I still enjoy it. So with that being said, I'd probably recommend that you just play through it on your own, enjoy it the most you can, and then um, you can mop up on a second playthrough by watching this video. Now there's a total of 12, tro 12 achievements that you'll need to go through, and a majority of them are going to be unlocked after beating the game. Uh, there's a couple that we will unlock along the way, which I'll obviously be talking through and showing you. There's also a bunch of like collectibles we need to grab, and I'll explain as we come to those. We have to get all of the locks. We have to look at all of the house cats. We have to find all of the desktop computers. There's a bunch of miscellaneous things we need to do. And uh, I'll be showing you all of that and explaining it along the way. Walk forward, and you're going to interact with things with the right trigger. There's a couple of options like inverting the Y axis, turning up your brightness and stuff. You might want to play around with that. Go up to this little box and then uh, implant both of these little speaker things. There's a lot of little things we can miss, so make sure you keep that in mind. Now, once you see that little blinking T icon with the blue triangle, always press back. And you'll be able to go to this menu here, and you'll see these small messages. There will be a lot of them. We have to make sure that we zoom in on all nine of them. So that's what I did. I'll be letting you know exactly when and where to uh, keep that in mind. You have to read all of them before finishing the game. Please place your hand. Your body positional data has been registered with Tacoma's AR network. Please sign in to confirm your identity. Thank you. Welcome aboard. While aboard Tacoma Station, please remember that all activity on this facility is monitored. Some of the other collectibles we need to do are there's like seven house casts, seven house cats. A bunch of locks, a bunch of desktops. We have to interact with all of the AR things, and uh, yeah, you'll see, you'll see. It's not, it's not too complicated. All right, as soon as you enter, if you go forward, you'll notice a flying basketball. Grab the basketball and just dunk it into the net as long as the line is lit up, which it should be from the beginning. So just dunk it, okay? Or miss like me and try again. All right, it didn't work which is fine. So sometimes you need to activate this three point line and we just got a message. So make sure you read it. These messages will pop up kind of as you progress through certain parts of the story. But like I said, um, just grab that basketball, activate the three point line. And then just dunk the ball. There we go. Perfect. So now we can continue forward. And we want to go to the personnel wing, which is uh, purple. And just enter that wing. And you'll ride the kind of powered elevator downwards.
Sometimes it gets a little choppy. I think it's because it's using this as a loading screen for the next area. Now, once you reach the bottom, walk forward and you'll be able to place your book onto like the node here. And we have to do that every time we open a new area. Anytime that message comes up, obviously just let it come out and then zoom in and out on it once it's finished typing. There's nine of these messages. Uh, you'll hear a little ring when they come up and you'll see the little icon. All right, so now we want to go to the administration office, and this is kind of the main game mechanic of the game right here. You'll press X when you see these kind of holograms, and you will scan them and be able to find data within them. And we have to scan every single crew member to find all the different different pieces of data. So what I would recommend is that you just pause the timeline on the bottom using X, and then scrub through using the RB. And you'll notice the color of the little indicator there. So there's a purple indicator, which means that at this point in the kind of playthrough of this uh, conversation, we can now go and interact with the purple person. When you interact with a person, you want to go through all four of their nodes. And that's going to make sure you get all information out of each person. Sometimes you'll have a failed node, but you still have to click it. And then continue on. Same thing. We're going to fast forward. The second person is the yellow person. So go find the yellow person and do the same thing. Restore their little thing and all four of their nodes. Fast forward. The next person is the red person in the main foyer area. I just have an order I go through all the nodes in just so I know I'm getting them, you know, in the order that makes the most sense. And then the last person is the blue person. Now, I don't think you have to do this, but I like to fast forward all the way to the very end of a scene whenever possible. And now what we can do is there is one collectible right here. So go to the conference room. And this is what a house cat looks like. There are seven house cats. And you'll know that you're looking at one when you see the house cat name at the top of the screen there. Next up, we also want to go to the administrator's office. The code for this room is 1228. When inside this room, we can find a desktop. When opening a desktop, what you want to do is open all three icons on the bottom. And then I like to go to this one, zoom in really quick, close it, and close the desktop. That just kind of makes sure we get everything. Now what we want to do is go back and we're going to grab a quick miscellaneous achievement. So in this open room, there's a sign there in the, at the back and we have to make the sign, uh, you know, proper. So go to the lavatory, pick up the O, put the O where it belongs, pick up the E under crew, put it in crew, pick up the O, put it in Tacoma, fix the E. And now we need the M, which is downstairs in the lounge. There we go. That's another achievement. These ones are all not worth very much. And then we're going to go past the door very close by to the station administrator's office little lounge here. And make sure we do the, the AR analysis of this guitar player. And then, like I said, fast forward through the little clip there just to make sure we got all of it. Now we're going to go back where we came from, where we installed our little data book, but we're going to go to the other side. Got another uh, little email here from Venturis Technologies, four out of four. Make sure it fully goes through and then zoom in and out on it. There's no tracking, so I'm not 100% sure what counts and doesn't count, so I'd like to be safe. Now that we're in here, go in forward. Go left to the locker room. 
and then scan. All right, I'm going to pause it and we're going to go up here to the fitness center. Inside of the fitness center, we can find the green guy. Use all of his nodes. All right, now behind this guy, there's a punching bag. Go and punch the bag until you get fully exhausted. And that should unlock an achievement. Now we have to find the yellow guy. Which, if I remember correctly, is not down here. If you're having trouble finding someone, you can always scrub through, try to see where they're going, and then try to catch them as they're moving across. All right, now we're going to scrub through. The next person is the orange person. The orange person is in the cargo. And now there is a house cat in the laundry room, which is actually... The room over, next door to the cargo room, is the laundry room. Open it up and find the house cat in the top right. Now fast forward to the last node in the playback. And go back to the locker room. Never mind, we have to find the blue guy. Which is actually, he's going to be in the fitness center behind the desk. Alright, now we can fast forward all the way to the end of the clip. Go back to the locker room, and then go to the showers that's connected to the locker room. Go to the end of the shower, and recover this AR data. Make sure you access all of their nodes. And then fast forward to the end. Now go back to the locker rooms. And there's a couple lockers we're going to have to open. Start with Clive's locker. The yellow locker. The code is 1407. Unlocked. Open the door and grab the key at the bottom of the locker. Now turn around and find the blue locker of the medic. Open that locker. The keys, the, the passcode is 0, 3, 1, 5. Open the door. You don't have to do anything, but you can take a look around. Now open the door, and we're going to have to go grab a couple things. So don't go to the office. Go to the personal quarters instead. Operation Specialist's Office. And find the desktop here. Close this and continue through the hallway to go to the personal quarters of Clive. Once inside, activate his AR data. And scrub through. Make sure you grab all his recoverable data. Now, use the key to open the drawer, which is tied to his bed. 
Inside the drawer, you can find a bunch of things, but you don't need anything from here. Uh, but you can play around with it if you like. Now we're ready to return back to the hub. Make sure you take your book with you. There should be a giant red arrow. And we can return to the hub now. Make sure you read the email we just got. This is email five of five, but there's a total of nine, like I said earlier. They're very hard to miss. And I'm pretty sure you can uh, go through all of them at the end of the game right before you finish anyways. Like to be safe when possible, though. Once in the hub, go to the, obviously it's going to be 3D space, so just kind of pay attention. Go to the observation area, go through, and uh, there's an AR, some AR data for you to recover here. Just scrub through it. Okay, now we are off to the biomedical wing. The wings all kind of rotate, but it should be pretty easy to find the biomedical uh, wing here. Initiate the transfer and go down the powered um, little lift. All right, so this one's also going to work in a similar way. You just have to put your book in, do everything you can, take your book out, and continue forward. So right in front of us is that book. You can kind of go left or right, but we're going to go right because it makes way more sense. So go to the medical, not the botany. Once inside the lobby, do the AR scan. All right, so do the red guy. By the way, some of them are girls. I'm just calling everyone guy because it makes more sense. After the red person's done, walk forward to the exam facilities and find the blue person. All four nodes as we've been doing this whole time. After that, walk forward, and at the back here, there is a recent body scan records machine. The code is 2080. Once inside here, make sure you go through all three of the employees so you can get all the data off of them. This is just to make sure that we get that 100% um, you know, access all information kind of stuff achievement. All right, so now next to this computer, there's a room called imaging. Inside of the imaging room, find a house cat. You have to crouch and kind of look under the desk here, but as long as this is a house cat on the top, you got it. Now the next thing is go into the medic room and find the desktop. Open all three of the panels like we have been doing. 
Like I said, I like to do this, although I don't think you have to. Uh, to the left of the computer is a drawer. Grab the key from the drawer. Fast forward the clip until the green person's highlighted. And then head back out to the kind of lobby area. And you'll notice him. Uh, all four nodes, like we've been doing this whole time. You got to basically recover all the data off all the people in the entire ship for one of the achievements. So that's what we did for that guy. And now that we have this key, go to the medical storage area. Put the key into the kind of uh, secure medical storage physician access only bay. Open the door. Inside in the back right, there is a skull. Grab that skull. And then we're going to take... I just threw the skull. Instead of opening the door. So take the skull with you back to kind of where we were. The exam facilities. And then across from the scan, the records computer is this random uh, closet. Inside the closet is a skeleton. Place the skeleton head or the skull on the skeleton. At this point, I'm just going to fast forward the rest of the clip here. Go back to the medical storage. In the back right hand side of the room is a hat. Grab that hat. Back to the closet with the, ske the skeleton in it and put the hat on the skull. Perfect. We got the Skeletina achievement. Now what we want to do is go to the personal quarters, which is kind of across from the places we've been. It's the only door we haven't went through. We're going into Sarah Hasmandy's medic room. Inside this room, we have her AR data. At this point, we can leave her room, and we're going to go into the botany area. So like I said, when we first entered the area, there was a botany and a medical. We've done everything we can in medical, so now we're moving over to botany. As soon as we enter, there is a AR uh, data for a group of people here. First person is the purple person. All four nodes. Perfect. Just making sure uh, that my notes make sense here. Next up, we are going to the second person, which is the blue person. They're going to be found in the food supply slash botanist's office as soon as you enter directly in front of you. They have a, just a simple picture there. All right, we can close that. Right next to them is a small room called Protein Growth. Go in that room, and up in one of these corners, you should be able to find a house cat. Just look on it, look at it to get the little message on the top, and we can move on. The next thing we want to do here is go to the botanist office. So through that protein growth room, go into Andrew Dagab's room and access his desktop computer, opening all three icons. And just to be safe, zooming in on the, uh, the one with the V icon emblem. At this point, what we want to do is head back to where we came from, that middle area, and go down the staircase here. And then open the door in front of us. The code for this room is 0, 2, 8, 1. At this point, fast forward. And this green person should be 
Uh, the person we need to... The last person here. Access all four of their uh, nodes. And then scrub through to the end. Perfect. All right. So now we want to go back upstairs and go to the personnel quarters or personal quarters, which is over here. Inside of the personal quarters, we have we should have one guy here that we can scan. This guy also has a desktop that we can recover. Um, so make sure you access all four of those nodes for him. And then fast forward the clip. Perfect. And now we are done in this whole section. After we take out the book though, don't exit right away. Instead, uh, we'll have to open that email we just got, which I forgot because it's, you know, very easy. So you're going to open that email, whatever, let it go uh, complete itself and then zoom in on it. And now go back to medical before exiting. What we actually need to do is um, we need to grab the skull off of the skeleton from before because we need to bring that skull with us. So make sure you grab the skull and not the hat. And at this point, you can return to the hub. With skull in hand, obviously. Going through my notes, making sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. And so far, we're doing perfect. We're doing pretty We're doing pretty well with time, too. All right, so as soon as we come out, we're still going to have that skull in our hand. So just take that skull and then dunk it into the net. For some reason, it is not letting me dunk. All right, we're just going to try that again. We I threw it, picked it back up. It is not letting me dunk. It did the first time. That's odd. Let's try it on the other net. And if not, we'll just try to throw it. Last time it absolutely let me dunk the ball. There we go. So, casket ball is now done. And that's like a little bit of a uh, Easter egg thing. So you get these cats coming by. Uh, for those who played Gone Home... Uh, this is the, the Meow Meow song, I guess. It's a whole bunch of cats. You don't, they don't count as the house cats we were talking about earlier. So uh, just kind of ignore them for now. Uh, instead, right after that, we, we need to go to the engineering wing, which is the orange one here. Now, the engineering wing won't open up until those cats are kind of completely gone. So you can try to, like, follow them. They're going to go into the observatory, kind of through the window and stuff. And then the engineering wing will open up after this white, bright flash of light. And the engineering wing is kind of the last major wing. It's one of the more confusing wings and probably where you'll miss something if you're not paying close attention. So as long as you've been paying attention, we should be good. If you do want to do an achievement check, we are at 5 out of 12 for 100 gamer score. 
most of the points you'll get for doing all the stuff at the very end. All right, now that we're in engineering, walk forward and deposit your book into the wall. I think at this point we're supposed to go into mechanical engineering as we enter uh, recover the AR data there's something I'll show you really quick but all right we're gonna pause it and uh, this first blue guy recover his desktop Now, another thing you might notice is that if you look at the grate right here, there's a mouse, but there's also a wedding ring right there, but you can't grab it through the grate. So we're actually going to have to go underneath and grab that wedding ring, which is related directly to an achievement um, later on. So we got the blue guy. Next up, we want to go into the power cell access room. And in this room, we can find a house cat. So if you go in deep into the room, kind of look pretty high up there, you can see a little house cat chilling on the... Uh, one of these pods now exit this room and go across to the workshop inside of the workshop you can find a computer perfect now we're going to exit the workshop the door right next to the workshop door is the personal quarters Go into the personal quarters of Roberta. Uh, make sure you access her data. All right. And then fast forward her story to the end. Now continue forward and fast forward to the second locate second icon on the bottom there and go to the drone bay. Continue past this set of doors to find the red person on this uh, metal walkway here and uh, they will also have their four nodes. All right back up and then fast forward the story. This is a really, really long one, but a, a large section of it is corrupted. Now, right next to that is a door. To get through this door, the code is 0809. All right. Walk forward here and keep an eye on the ceiling. It's going to be past the first door, and then after we go down the ramp here. Turn the corner, and then look up from here to find that wedding ring. You can barely see it. It should say, maybe I should hold on to this. So make sure you grab that. That's the wedding ring, and there's an achievement for completing the game with the wedding ring. So now that we grabbed it, don't worry about it. Continue forward. Just keep continuing forward. There should be a very obvious uh, AR data that we should uh, recover right here on this dude sitting in the chair fast forward it now we're going to exit this area and we grabbed another email so let it finish up and uh, zoom in and out on it just to be safe like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure you can just save all of these right for the end of the game and then just look through them one by one um, right before finishing the game. But All right, continue forward through these doors, continue forward, and then you'll see these signs, personal quarters, network specialist office is where we're going. So just go up the ramp and continue up the ramp. And once you reach kind of the top here, you'll find an AR data to recover.
and fast forward it. Now, while standing here, there is also a cat. Look at the glowing thing in the middle. Look up a little bit, and you should notice that cat sitting right there. Next up, what we want to do is go to the network specialist's office, Natalie, Natalie. And then once inside this room, we want to access her AR data. Hey there, um, I'm Nat. All four nodes. Hello. I also, I seem to be having a small glitch with lighting. There seem to be some parts where the lighting's just uh, acting very weirdly. That didn't happen my first time. But anyways, I uh, close that and fast forward it. As you can see, this stuff's way too bright. This wasn't like this the first time, but whatever. Uh, and then make sure you also access their workstation. All three. They have an email as well. And uh, we can now go back to where we came from. And continue kind of forward where we went, where that blue guy went, if you remember. Go into this office room, which is the subcontractor, Amy Ferrer, Ferrier, whatever. And uh, now we can move forward. In this room, there's the AR data of the person as we enter. Or the memory or whatever. Fast forward through it. Work to the back room and there's a second person. Fast forward it. Like there's a, I'm having a weird lighting issue. So you didn't see that uh, show up on the bottom there. And then um, you want to release the Odin software. And go to the center console. The passcode is 0451. We're going to pull Odin out of the computer. And now we can exit this section of the, uh, the ship and return back to the hub. So the fastest way to return to the hub after reading the email. is to go down these stairs all the way past the signs. You'll see the exit sign and that's going to be your fastest way to exit. Obviously make sure to grab your uh, electronic book device before exiting. And then return to the hub. Now, last time I played the game, my game froze right here. Hopefully, we are a little lucky and it doesn't freeze this time. So, fingers crossed. Uh, you might have a couple bugs here and there. I have heard some people having issues with the game starting in the first place. I have had some people say there was some crashing issues, but the game does save quite often. So, even if your game does crash, you can just load it back up and you should be within a minute from where you were. Alright, so this is kind of the last stuff we need to do before finishing the game off. If you come out and you look at the docking area, there is AR data here to recover. You're still waking up. So recover the data of the red person.
all right fast forward and if you turn around now this you might get really confused as to why you just got an achievement but if you turn around and fast forward to the second node in the timeline this person right here has the last cat you need so you'll get the cat sitter achievement that's the seventh cat you need and then you can grab the AR of the yellow person. Fast forward. And then grab the uh, desktop of the blue person. close that now one more thing we need to do is you might have noticed the robot flying around he's over there his name's Romeo and he needs his Juliet so if you go into the cryogenics area you'll notice a small robot right here to the right hand side you want to activate that cleaner bot now you can grab the sanitation drone and you want to fly this drone over to that other drone that I just spotted he kind of flies back and forth so he could be anywhere and then just toss the drone at the other drone. And there you go. You should get the Therefore Art Thou achievement. And at this point, we should have 7 out of 12 for 250. And assuming we did everything as in the video, we can now just fast forward this last thing. And we can go back to the docking access. And we can just complete the game. And assuming we did everything properly, we'll unlock the last five achievements. So, and what I mean by when I say, uh, you know, made sure we did everything properly, let me read out the five things we had to make sure we did along the way. So, we have to escape the station, which is, we have to beat the game having recovered every AR crew's data. So, hopefully we did that, which I know we did. Here's our last email. So, nine out of nine. Wait for this to go through. We'll get an achievement for reading all of these emails uh, throughout the game so that's uh, another one you have you get another achievement for completing the game having correctly opened every key code lock so we made sure to open up all the locks we could uh, we're gonna get an achievement for beating the game and then we're gonna get an achievement for beating the game with the wedding ring in hand Open the airlock door, install Odin. And uh, this is basically the end of the game. We just fly away and the credits roll. And at the end of the credits is when all five of those should pop for us. Again, just to repeat, we'll get one for beating the game. One for beating the game while having the wedding ring that we picked up. We'll get one for beating the game, having all of the keypads opened. We'll have one for beating the game, having recovered all of the AR crew data. And then last but not least, we'll also get one for reading all of the incoming messages from Venturis on our um, AR. So those nine emails. Okay, Minnie. Initiate the At this point, you can pretty much now put your controller down and wait till the end of the game. Now, hopefully, you followed along perfectly and beautifully, and uh, all five unlock. If they didn't, um, that means you missed something that I uh, did in the in the playthrough. If you did miss something, luckily, it's pretty easy to mop up. Just press continue game from the main menu, and then you can try to go grab whatever it is that you missed. And then you can just kind of recomplete the game really, really quickly. And whatever you missed should unlock if you fulfilled the requirements. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out some of my other 100% full game walkthroughs. That will grab you either a 1,000 or a 1,000 gamer score. In some cases, you'll grab a platinum trophy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, a like is truly appreciated on the video on YouTube. Um, and then if you share the video with a friend or you share the video on a website or something, that is even more appreciated. And if you want to take your support even one step further, uh, there's patreon.com slash Mac 91 productions where people like Darth Dave 89 have supported the show. And I would appreciate if you guys check that out, but obviously it's completely optional at this point. Like I said, just watch the rest of the credits. And as you can see, this is going to be one of the easiest games to complete of the year. 
We did it in approximately 45 minutes. We just hit the 45 minute mark just now. And uh, in terms of difficulty, maybe a one or a two out of 10, not very hard. And even if you do screw something up, an entire playthrough takes you 45 minutes. So it's not that bad. The only kind of bad part, I guess, is that there's no achievement tracking. So it's kind of hard to tell if you are, um, you know, getting everything as it's coming up. I think this is the last screen in the credits. And hopefully things start unlocking right now. All right, now we open it up and let's see. And there we have it. That's 1,000 out of 1,000 in Tacoma. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.